Hey guys, what's up? 2 Jesus here with another 2-Bit Talks, and this article I came across screen from Screen Rant, and you can click on the article in the link below if you want to read the whole thing, but the gist of what it's getting at is, well, the title actually reads, Steam Must Innovate to Keep PC Market Over EA and Xbox. And it is an interesting thing, what I like about it, and I'm just going to get into my thoughts about it, really. I'm not going to go into detail about what the article's saying. The article just made me think about the subject. And that is that, uh, you know, let's let's take a step back. Let's take a step, step back five years ago. I would even say six years ago. Uh, Steam, honestly, for the longest time, Steam has been the only place to get you know, for for PC gaming. I mean, there's other places that, you know, you can go to. There's other alternatives. Uh, EA Origin is not one of them, of course. But then you got Microsoft making a huge push. You got the Game Pass is coming over to PC. You already have their Microsoft Store. All that good stuff. And, uh, of course, I mean, EA Origins is there, but eh. I, I think eventually Sony's going to come into the picture with their own, like, PC service, uh, so there, there's a lot more comp, I think you can argue that there is a lot more competition today than there was six years ago. Like, Microsoft is definitely making a push, EA is there with EA Origins, and I get it, there's EA games that people just want to play, so that's the only reason I think Origins still exists. And I'm not saying that Steam is going away. I'm not saying that at all. I think Steam will still be the top uh, place to get your PC video games. I, I think, I just, that's the way I feel. But I do acknowledge something. There's more competition here. And there's other people investing money in this market. And Steam needs to realize that and not rest on their laurels. And they kind of do need to... And I think that's what this article is kind of saying, is that they do need to, you know, step up. They don't they, they don't need to just rest on their laurels and just let their competition build and build and build. And I think Steam is going to do that. At least I hope. Um, you, you know what would be awesome? Valve releasing more games. You know, more of your games. Maybe a Half-Life 3, maybe a Left 4 Dead 3. I know you guys don't like 3s, but if you release that, that's of course going to be exclusive to Steam. That's the only place you'd be able to get it. You know, that's something you could do to help, you know, keep that, you know, people on Steam. In my opinion, you know, that that's something that's cool. But Steam's not in any danger right now. I mean, I think we're years away from many of these people being a viable, like, Microsoft would be the only one I could see that would be a viable rival, but, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, they're fractured, I mean, they're on the console side too, so, it, it's not like they can fully focus on the, the PC side. So yeah, I just think, I just think that, uh, Steam is kind of resting on their laurels, and, uh, they, they should at least acknowledge, hey, there's more people coming into the market. And welcome that competition, but also don't just sit there and go, oh, we're the best, you know. The competition can come in, but we're the best, and we're not going to do anything to, to try to entice people to stay with us. I, I think you should always strive, you know, even if you're on top, always think that, hey, we could be at the bottom at any moment, and, you know, we need to get more... I really just want Half-Life 3. <laughs> Half-Life 3, a Left 4 Dead 3. Come on, Valve. Give us some of those good, awesome games. Anyway, guys, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all this. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit that share button so tons of other people can see this video. And, you know, we can get some more traffic on here and grow the channel, be successful, conquer the world. All that good stuff. And speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel... Hit that subscribe button and ding the bell, that way you don't miss a thing. As always, folks, I am the holiest of all YouTubers, 2BitJesus, and I am saying stay safe and play on.